हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर चैनल विजडम एम एल सो इन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो आई एल शो केस यू स्किन कैंसर डिटेक्शन मैनेजमेंट वेब ऐप दैट इज बिल्ट इन फ्लास्क पाइथन विद माई सीक्वल डेटा बेस एंड इट्स नॉट अ सिंपल डिटेक्शन ऐप वेर यू कैन जस्ट अपलोड द इमेज एंड इट विल ओनली शो यू द प्रडिक्शन ऑफ द मॉडल बट इट विल give you an idea how you can make an application that is uh, you can deploy to any particular domain let's say in case of hospital management system how you can deploy this web app right and uh, what would be the components in that how many user admin uh, doctor nurse administrator what what's their role in this application what they can do and in real time scenario how uh, this skin cancer detection management uh, system can work right so uh, uh, in this uh, i just remind you that the model which is used for prediction i have already uh, uh, uploaded a uh, video for that how you can build a skin cancer uh, uh, how you can train a skin cancer deep learning model you can uh, just check that video out if you don't know if you haven't checked before you can check that video so in this video i'll quickly show you what this app is about and uh, what are different features in this app so uh, first thing uh, we have one login screen uh, apart from that there is one option to sign up as well where you can uh, sign up by giving the email id you can select doctor nurse admin which role you want it uh, as a user and then you can simply sign up right uh, in sign in uh, i'll try to do it from admin side admin at the rate gmail.com password and uh, these are the options which i am getting in my home screen as a administrator so we have an admin panel we have view as a view users option where you can see list of all users uh, doctors nurse right uh, which are normal users of this application uh then we have a dashboard where uh, i'll show you what uh, uh view you can see in this and then there is a download data option where you can download and export the entire data of the database uh in the form of excel so i'll start with admin panel so once you click on this it will give you the option to see like who all are doctors admin and nurses and this is the complete management of user management screen where you can simply uh, click here on the check box and make them inactive because there may be a chance like if someone who is doctor who is not now related to your hospital you can make them in inactive right uh, so you can do that similarly if you see uh, for example manoj chirvastu right if i want to make him inactive so she is now inactive right manoj was to now uh, similarly we have uh, so in this way you can make uh, users active and active including admin so let's say one admin you want to inactivate right he is not working with your uh, uh, with your system anymore so just simply make him in inactive and create another admin so that is one component second component is uh, where you can see who all are user in terms of doctors and nurses so if you want to see doctors so these are the available doctors who are attached with your hospital or your system as of now right where you will get the short uh, view of like what is the email user type specialty right experience in number of years and hospital attached similarly uh, in the same way you have option to see the nurse who all nurses are attached to this uh, system right so next we have a dashboard it's a very clean view of dashboard see if you can see how many doctors are available in terms of number how many nurses are there total cases these cases are basically number of skin cancer or skin disease whatever it is uh, dermatologic cases Uh, total and how many pending cases so this will give you a view like how many pending cases are uh, there in the current system 
now these are some of the view of all the list of cases uh, which are actually uh, reported in the system right so which is uh, what is the uh, this is the case id then model prediction which nurse handled this uh, particular case which doctor has handled this case and finally what is the doctor's decision so here you can see uh, you can match like what is the model prediction what is the doctor decision by understanding this difference right if this difference is too much more than 20 percent you can retrain your model by just collecting those uh, images and then retrain your skin cancer model uh, next section is the top four cases these are the cases based on the uh, how many four uh, recent cases right so what is the case of melanoma like melanoma cancer uh, what is this nevus similarly what is the case about then what is the actual doctor's feedback if there is no feedback right if the if the feedback is empty you can just see how many days it, this this case comes and you can just um, <coughs> connect with the doctor and ask for to um, close this case right so this is the overall view of the admin now when we have a download data option here you can simply see all the images images where is the original image prediction image right prediction image is nothing but the uh, grad cam image where you will be see the highlighting of the region of where it is affected model prediction probability all the data and you can just simply export it and it will be downloaded in your excel sheet you can just simply uh, go here and check it right complete excel is available right now uh, so this is the uh, uh, overall view of the admin now we'll see the view of uh, nurse right so we have nurse with the name neha sharma it's all synthetic data right just to give you the view and here we have so if you see when nurse logs in right so these are the three options so she can do and do her profile update where can she, she can upload her image uh, which hospital she attached to generalization what is the spe specialization years of experience and her email she can update uh, now another option is the view report i'll come later to that the main section is model prediction so once she receive any case right she can go so if you see ISS and I'll select let's say Nevus. I'll take this one. Right, so if you can see this is a Nevus image and the model already predicted it as Nevus with the confidence of 99.61. So this, this screen will give a nurse a view like uh, you know, what model is seeing in which region it is actually focusing on for its uh, actual prediction right uh, and this is the confidence score and the same thing will be available to the doctor so now uh, this is the screen this is the section where nurse can add her feedback let's say uh, looks like model is seeing right region and prediction is right forwarding for doctor review right now uh, now nurse has the option to allot her case to whoever uh, available specialists are there so um, let's say if i go to this one only and just submit it so it is submitted to um, um, the, the doctor right now what this section is view report so if you see uh, here she can see like uh, who is the actual uh, what is the actual status of all the cases she handled right so if you see um, uh, this 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 is the last one right 
uh, where there is no doctor feedback there is no doctor's decision so she can uh, again uh, ask the doctor like you have not given the uh, you have not checked the uh, case so she can directly ask to the doctor right then we have one option like date uh, like view the case so she can click it on and the same view will be available where these two things will be empty once it is updated she can view like what is the doctor's feedback what is the doctor's final decision right so this is an another uh, view so this is all about uh, nurse right now if we go to doctor's panel so we have allotted case to this doctor i'll just quickly logs in mail.com and you just sign in uh, so can the three cases are there three components are there same as uh, nurse uh, edit profile section where he can up update his details another is view report and the allotted case so if you visit on allotted case so it will show all the pending cases to this doctor as of now this one so if you just click on view so it will give the same view which was available to the doctor to the nurse right now uh, based on the findings of the model and the uh, highlighted region and all doctors can give her his feedback let's say uh, yes it's nevus model is right so it will give you the view like whether model is performing better or not right so uh, here he can select nevus and just submit it so this case is solved there is no pending cases now for this doctor now he can visit on view report section where he can select uh, resolved cases and here maybe we can because we have previous cases i'll just select this one and you can see so these are the uh, cases right uh, and the most latest one is below which you can just make it uh, recent first or older first that is based on your priority and again if you click on it right click on it you can see the same view right but there is no option to edit now right so once it is submitted uh, this will just a view for the doctor uh, to just refer the previous case history what was the nurse feedback what his feedback and what's the final decision right uh, so this is the uh, overall uh, skin cancer detection management i have just tried to give the overall end-to-end um, uh, -end flow so that if you just try to implement it right so you you know like what components are required what type of user base is required in building an entire ai based or computer vision based web application specifically in healthcare domain so feel free to add your comments right what you feel and uh, um, for the source code i'll just post the link if you can just uh, you can visit the uh, uh, website and see uh, if you really want to uh, see the code or purchase the code right so you can visit the link and uh, uh, and feel free to uh, give your post your comments on this thanks thanks for uh, viewing the video